In today's video, we're going to talk about the Comet Goldfish and how to take care of the Comet Goldfish for a fish aquarium. I feel like a lot of people aren't educating people on these fish and a lot of bad things are happening. This fish sort of has a bad reputation in the aquarium hobby and I think it's because people are just uneducated. So today, I want to give a full, honest, and fully transparent guide on my personal opinion to help people keeping this fish. What is going on guys? I'm the creator of this video. My name is Chris and this is Palmer Aquatics. I'm covered in fish aquarium tattoos and I also love houseplants. My house is just full of this crazy cool stuff. So if this interests you, please consider subscribing and hit up the comment section because that's why I do these videos because I'm looking for friends. Let's do a deep dive on talking about the Comet Goldfish. For starters, this fish isn't sought after in the aquarium hobby by a lot of people just because for the mere fact of it literally costs like 30 cents to buy and a lot of bad education is sort of around goldfish keeping in general. For instance, the Comet Goldfish can grow up to 12 inches long. It's an ancestor to the carp. So if you guys know anything about carp, if you've seen them in rivers, they're huge. They can grow anywhere to like two feet long. It's insane. And you might be asking yourself, why do they even sell fish like this in the aquarium trade? And the answer is, we don't know. This happens with a lot of fish, you know, the bala shark, a lot of catfish grow massive. So uh, what this means for keeping the Comet Goldfish is that we're going to need a massive, massive aquarium. And along with that comes massive filtration. So you're going to have to spend a lot of money on your filter. You're going to have to be changing a lot of aquarium water, which might add up on your water bill. So what I'm saying here is to effectively keep the Comet Goldfish in an aquarium, it's going to be pretty expensive because the minimum aquarium size I would suggest is a 75 gallon minimum. Uh, and honestly, I would lean, to lean towards anything even larger, like a six foot long, 125 gallon aquarium. So this essentially means that like, you're going to need a massive setup. And honestly, this is probably a fish that's better suited for a pond. And trust me, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer on this because maybe you just already brought this fish home and you're doing research or maybe you like uh, you won it at a carnival. That's very common. I, I find that what happens a lot of times is families go into these big chain pet stores and the kids want a fish and they're just like they're looking at the prices of all the stuff and they start adding it up and they're like, God, we got to buy a fish. Let's get the fish that's 40 cents. And uh, what's what's super ironic is a lot of people throw them in bowls. I mean, we named them goldfish bowls, which is like super stupid. Did you know that uh, fun little fact in a couple of countries in the world, goldfish bowls were outlawed. So they're literally illegal to sell because they find them inhumane to keep animals in. Let's go over some of the pure basics to keeping this fish in an aquarium. Number one, for starters, we need a massive aquarium. Number two, we need massive filtration. Number three, they eat literally anything under the sun. So just general goldfish flakes is going to make sure that they get the right diet. And uh, water changes are going to be a necessity because your, your aquarium can only handle so many nitrates. And the only two ways to get rid of that are water changes or plants. One benefit that I really liked to keeping goldfish was that they do not need heated aquariums. So you do not need a heater they can withstand a wide range of colder temperatures hearing some of this information is kind of depressing right so I want to just tell you you don't have to give up on keeping goldfish but the comet goldfish probably isn't the best type to keep a lot of times um, you know because there's small differences in the different types of goldfish like the comet goldfish is very similar to the common goldfish except it has a, a, a the tail kind of wise and there's tons of fancy goldfish you can keep. There's the Black Moor, the, the Ryukin, there's the Oranda. Like, I could keep going. And if you want more information or just want to join an awesome group on goldfish, my group, Goldfish Keepers, it's the largest Facebook group on goldfish. So it's literally like a great resource. You sort of have two decisions when keeping or taking care of the comic goldfish in an aquarium. First of all, if you've already brought the fish home, you have you you really have two options. You can keep it and get super serious with upgrading your equipment with a large aquarium, or you can just bring it back to your fish store. That's always an option. Don't be embarrassed. This happens all the time. Sometimes fish die. Sometimes that's all you have to say is I did my research on 
on this fish and I think it's not a great suit for me. You know, it's not a good fish for me to keep. I have a small 30 gallon aquarium and I can't be keeping or taking care of this Comet Goldfish because it grows huge. And if you decide to go the other route where you upgrade all your equipment and you decide to go all in on goldfish because you love them, that's also great because I love seeing people get serious about this hobby. What you're going to have to do is find a decent deal on a large aquarium. Um, I wouldn't advise buying a new setup from a big box chain store. I would I would buy used personally just because I'm a cheapskate, but if you're serious and have the money, there's no reason why you can't buy from a store. Just know though, if you buy new, the resale value on aquarium equipment is like 10 or 20% of what you paid new. I guess you should just start to look for a large aquarium. I would advise getting a 125 gallon aquarium just because like why even mess around with the in-between? So many people don't take this advice though and they kind of like want to level up. The problem with that is like with aquariums, they're a lot of work to break down and just reset up new ones. Another option you have is to keep a pond in your backyard. I would highly advise this over a huge aquarium because it's going to be so much more work. Whereas like if it's outside and you can, uh, ponds are so much easier to have larger amounts of water. And if you, uh, some, some people, if you live in like the upper Midwest, what they'll do is they'll remove the goldfish from the pond and they'll put it in their aquarium aquarium during the winter time but that still means you kind of need a large aquarium during the winter time so but if you live down south where you don't need or we, you don't have cold weather a pond is a much better option honestly you guys do have to make me a promise though that you're not going to be keeping a comet goldfish in a bowl or anything lower than like 10 gallons because these fish need that necessary room to move around this is a glorified carp just think of what carp look like in natural habitat, and that's what you're going to be keeping in a 10 or 20 gallon aquarium. Like, it's insane. You need to get yourself a decent size aquarium, like minimum 40, 50 gallons. That's like bare bones minimum or else I'm going to get pissed, guys, honestly. If it were up to me, the comet goldfish would be illegal to sell as a pet in an aquarium. And that going along with all the other fish that we shouldn't be keeping, like the bala shark, a lot of red-tailed catfish the Paku. There's a lot of fish that are sold in this aquarium hobby that like grow into monsters and uh, just the people aren't being educated on it and it really kind of sucks and that's why I'm doing this video to try to help beginners learn that like you can't be keeping these goldfish in tiny little tanks or bowls. And I will also say if you guys need help with anything aquarium related, I literally have thousands of videos on how to do all kinds of stuff. Set up aquarium heaters, what size to buy, uh, what fish to put in what size aquarium like guys if you do a search on my channel it's there all right guys i'm done preaching to you i hope you enjoyed the video you gotta hit up the comment section because that's why i do these videos i want to hear from you and i want to have some new friends that love aquarium fish because i don't have many so and let me know like uh, are you did you come here researching the comet goldfish did you already bring one home are you looking to buy one does your kid want one you can be honest because uh I, i'm a realistic person and i know like what's happening happening in the real world with this stuff so uh please if you like fish aquariums and you think that I'm a cool guy enough to subscribe to, please consider and like the video. So for the for the love of educating people on this hobby. All right, I'll see you in the next one, guys.